Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are looking at uh, how to use function prototypes, which are also called function declarations. Uh, we'll get to that in one second, but before, the code that we're looking at right now is our function from the last video. If you recall, all we do is we have our user input uh, the length of the side of the cube, and then this function runs, this cube volume function runs, and it just returns the volume of the cube given whatever side length is inputted into it. So if we go run this program, um, we'll compile it, and when we run it here, let's see what we have. So says, please enter the length of one side of the cube. So if we put in something like 3, it's going to cube that 3 in return, saying the volume of the cube is 27. All right. Same thing, we can put in another number if we really want. We can put in maybe 2 or something, and it cubes that to 8. Perfect. So this is working properly. Um, now, everything that we've been doing, every time we've been making functions up until now, we've always been placing them in our code above the main function. But what we want to do now is see what happens if we put it below the main function. So if we go and build that, we try and compile it, and it's going to give us this error here. And it's saying that the cube volume is not declared in this scope. So that's because when our compiler comes down and compiles the program, it literally just reads it one line at a time. And usually when the functions are up here above the main function, it goes in and says, okay, there is something called cube volume. It reads the steps. And then by the time it gets into the main function here, uh, when we call cube volume, the compiler is like, oh yeah, I saw that function up here and I know what the steps are so I can compute whatever you're asking me to do. Now that's not happening. Um, so what we do is uh, to get around this, it's just a personal preference. Some people like to write their functions below the main function and other people like to write them above. If you're someone who likes to write them below, then you need to write function prototypes. And this is just basically a heads up to the compiler saying that, hey, uh, the function is below the main function, but we're just letting you know that it exists, so don't freak out and give us an error. All right, so the way that we do it is just very simple. You just go, you have to have the type, and then you also have to have the name of the function, so it has to be exactly the same, which would be cube, in this case, cube volume. And then here, what we can do is we can just put double, or we can put double with the name, but for now, we'll just do the type of the argument, and then you definitely need a semicolon. So if we go and build this, um, see, it's cleared that error, and if we go and try and run the program now, uh, see now it's working properly, we put in our 3, and look, it returns a 27. All right, so something else I said, you can have, if you want, you can just have the argument type, or you can also put uh, the name. It will not uh, change anything. It'll work exactly the same way. Again, it's just personal preference. So then if we go and do this, again, look, it's running perfectly. We can put in a 2, get your 8 back. All right, and then the last thing to really mention with this function prototype is if you are missing this semicolon, it won't work. So make sure you include those because when we remove the semicolon and then try and compile it, well, now we're getting an error here. It's just saying I'm expecting an initializer before this int sign. So you can clear that by simply putting in your semicolon and get rid of that error message. All right, and then once that's in again, we can run this program, you know, put in 10 or something, get a thousand. There you go. Uh, so that's what we do. Um, this is called a function prototype, this line here. Um, it's also called a function declaration. So if you are putting your homemade functions below your main function, you definitely need to include these.